Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a hot take on uh, stocks, <laughs> game stocks. Uh, I don't know if you heard this crazy story. Everybody's doing a take on it, so here's mine. Uh, so, GameStop, the company. Uh, for those of you who don't know, GameStop is a store chain. They sell video games and they buy back video games you know, used ones, and then resell them uh, at a profit and sell new ones. And, you know, they've been around for a long time, but uh, recently they've been sort of on their way out because online uh, services like Steam are, are basically destroying them. They, you don't need to go into a store anymore. You could just download the game. Um... The, the consoles are getting more sophisticated. You could just download the game. You don't need the physical disc anymore. So uh, GameStop just, you know, or you could just order it and it gets mailed to you. Uh, so GameStop was basically on its way out. Uh, the shares of the publicly traded company were at 4 or $6. This was back in, I guess, early January, maybe a few months ago, a few weeks ago. So there is a Reddit room, which I'm not familiar with because there's so many of them, but it's called Wall Street Bets. And the people in that uh, Reddit forum decided, hey, let's buy GameStop. Now, the reason they decided to buy GameStop was this, and this is where it gets a little complicated. The, there are these hedge funds, and they make a ton of money, right? So um, if you've got lots of money or if you're, you know, for instance, a, a pension fund might invest in a hedge fund, right? And they manage money. But one of the ways they do it is they don't really make anything. They, they do, you know, stock manipulation, essentially. Not manipulation, but they, they do, they play fast and loose with the stock market, right? So one of the things they do is they um, short a stock. It's called shorting a stock. So my understanding is they buy the stock for the investor, right? And let's see, they, 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 descri they describe what shorting is in this article. Uh, to short, a company is to bet on the price of the stock falling in simple terms. The hedge funds would borrow shares of the company from other investors, sell the shares on the market at the current high price, then buy them back at the expected future low price, and then return them to the investors, pocketing the profit. So I guess it would be something like you'd borrow the shares while they were at 10, start selling them off, which would drive down the price of the stock, right? So say I have 100 shares, I sell them for 10, each. Now I've got a thousand dollars, but because I sold off um, my hundred shares, it drove the stock down to let's say nine hundred uh, or or ninety bucks, right? So now I take my thousand dollars, I buy back the shares for nine hundred dollars. It's the same amount of shares, but I still got an extra hundred dollars left over. So that's shorting the stock essentially. I, it's probably a simplistic version. I'm not a financial analyst. I know nothing about finance. Don't follow my advice. I'm, I'm not giving you any advice. I'm just talking about this stuff. Okay, YouTube? So anyhow, um, there was a hedge fund called Melvin uh, something. I forget what it's called. Like Melvin, I don't know. Melvin something. Melvin uh, stock company or what a uh, Melvin Capital Management here it is so they had a lot of GameStop stock and were shorting it in other words they had put themselves out by uh, borrowing their investors own stock at 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 the low price that it was at already let's say six dollars and they were selling it right expecting it to buy it back at like two dollars 
and pocketing the difference. Well, instead, these guys on Reddit started buying up tons of shares and it drove the price of the stock through the roof. So they lost money. They lost like, I don't know, like $2 billion or some crazy amount of money. They've lost 40% of their value. Um, and now it's just gotten crazy. GameStop is the most traded company on earth right now. <laughs> uh, it was the most traded equity on the planet today with 20 billion in volume, more than uh, Tesla, <laughs> Apple, and Microsoft. <laughs> and now the shares are, I think they're over 300 bucks a pop. So. Uh, yeah, it's at 368.35. So imagine you bought you bought GameStop at four, and now it's worth 368 dollars. Yeah, some of these guys are sitting on literally millions of dollars. Um, so because you know the fund borrowed the shares at four dollars, it doesn't matter if they borrowed a thousand shares; they have to replace those thousand shares regardless of the current value. So if the value goes up to a hundred bucks, they now have to run out and buy shares for a hundred bucks a pop to just to placate their investors or wait until it drops back down again, which isn't very likely in the near future. Uh, and the longer they wait, the, the higher it's going up. So they're bankrupting themselves because they borrowed so many because they expected, you know, they expected to short the stock. They expected literally millions of shares to go down by a couple of dollars so they can make a few mil. But instead, it's gone up by a ridiculous sum of money. So they're broke or they're they're not broke, but they're they're in trouble. They're they're in trouble here. Here it is here. Uh, this, Melvin Capital Management had to be bailed out for two point seven billion dollars. The stock price went even further up after Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, tweeted GameStop stock um other stocks from failing companies that were targeted for shorts have also been boosted by the self-proclaimed degenerates in the uh, reddit uh these include amc the cinema company who have been shut down since the pandemic blackberry the makers of the popular phones from 10 years ago and nokia another previous uh, mobile phone giant which which is very much like a reddit thing the whole nokia thing being indestructible so people on Wall Street are freaking out and they're demanding the government step in. Oh, when these guys manipulate stock, they're fine with it. When they empty the value of a company and fire a bunch of work, get a bunch of workers fired. I shouldn't say fire, but get a bunch of workers fired because they essentially uh, destroy the company. Oh, you don't hear a peep. You don't hear a peep. You don't hear anybody screaming. Well. I guess the workers scream for regulation, but F them. They don't have any money or jobs now, right? But when hedge fund managers lose money, suddenly it's everybody's problem. So it's going to be very interesting to see uh, if Biden, the the uh, uh, dementia head of the uh, 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 billionaire class steps in. It's... Uh, Uh, the guy who runs Wall Street Bets says if they take down Wall Street Bets, they better take down every single Wall Street hedge fund that has been endlessly using gangster tactics to make a quick buck. Yeah, they probably should. And nobody has any sympathy for these guys losing money. Nobody has any sympathy for all these rich guys on TV talking about, oh, my God, my stocks. <laughs> When hedge funders and other loot our, our markets, it's all good. But when retailer investors destroy a hedge fund, then all of a sudden CNBC analysts start calling for regulations, blame foreign powers, and talk fundamentals. I call BS. That's from Sangar Ejeti. Um, from his monologue today, Wall Street is shook because multi-billionaires who recklessly gambled are getting screwed. And they can't stand that someone other than them is making money. It reveals how much of a sham this all is. Yeah, I mean, that's Wall Street. It's a it's a big casino where they rig the game for the big guys. And if you're lucky, you get out in time. And if you don't, if you get destroyed, oh, well, that 
that's that's not their concern. Um, <laughs> some funny memes here. Um, yeah, it's just interesting to see that this has has happened. Who knew that Reddit could actually do something good? I mean, I always thought Reddit was full of socialists, and it usually is. But apparently there are still a couple of underground capitalists hiding in there in the Wall Street bets. I wonder how long it's going to take before Reddit comes down on them and starts canceling them. That's the real danger, I think. Uh, they'll, they'll get the uh, Redditors to cancel it. I mean, they cancel just about anything else worth a damn on Reddit, in my opinion. Why not this? See, Joan has a lot to say on it, too. Sorry, I, I can't let you talk, Joan. Make your own damn video. Get your own damn YouTube channel. I, I You ride on my coattails all this time, and you, you just want to take over? Just understand your place, Joan. Understand your place. And that's what these hedge fund managers are saying to the Redditors. Understand your place. But looks like they may strike again. So uh, apparently there's a company called Robin Hood. Uh, I'm not, you, know, you could trade stocks. You can buy like, instead of buying like a whole Tesla share, you could buy like $100 worth of a Tesla share, whatever percentage that is. Sounds like fun. Um, you know, I can't advise you to get in on it. But, you know, always use the rule of gambling when you gamble because stocks is gambling. Uh, bet with your head, not over it. And don't uh, uh, put any money in that you, you aren't willing to lose completely. Um, but again, I'm not giving you any advice because I am not a stockbroker or a financial advisor of any kind. I am I do not follow my advice because it's, it's wrong and YouTube will cancel me. Right, YouTube? Okay, so we're all in agreement here. Right. Honk, honk, wink, wink. 